Okay, for the pretzel dough, I have uh, two-thirds cup of warm water, anywhere from 95 to 110 degrees, a teaspoon of sugar with some yeast, and then a teaspoon of salt, along with uh, one and three two-thirds cups of all-purpose flour. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that your water is anywhere from 90 to 105 degrees Fahrenheit. You're going to add your sugar and your yeast in together. So let that activate. Give it a quick little stir. And let that activate for anywhere from five minutes, five to eight minutes. Once you see those bubbles start to pop up, then you know your yeast is activated and alive. Okay. So as you can see here, we have bubbles coming up, so that tells us it's ready. Then we're going to go ahead and mix up our flour and our salt. I have flour and salt in here. Add your yeast. Make sure you get all of it. And you're going to mix it up into a ball. So you just start it out just like this with the fork. Once it comes together, bring it on your work surface, work it in. Just like this. And you want to knead it. And what I mean by kneading it, as you can see, if I press down, you want it to come to a point where it springs back. So we want to work it. So you may need a little more flour on your surface, but for the most part, you want to work it onto the board. Use extra flour if needed. Just like that. And just keep working it until you build enough gluten so that it springs back. This is what's going to give it that mouth fill, that nice little texture that you're looking for. If it's a little sticky, that's okay. It's better to be sticky than too dry. Okay, just work a little bit of flour, not too much. Pull the point where it gets manageable. Remember, don't over flour it. So what I'm doing is I'm just rolling it with the palm of my hand and tucking it in and rolling. Just like that. If you need to add more flour, it sticks a little, just a little at a time. Not too much. Just like this. And then check it. So see if it starts to spring back. As you can see, it's starting to spring back. That means you're building up some gluten. So you can do this roughly about five minutes. And then you're gonna put it back into your bowl And you're going to let it proof. And we are set. So you get your bowl, put it right in. You're going to put some plastic wrap, and then we'll refrigerate it overnight. And then we'll go ahead and make them into pretzels. For the cheese sauce, go ahead and get your butter. Melt it slowly, don't let it burn. like that. You're going to add your flour, very similar to when you guys made your cheese sauce for your mac and cheese. Equal parts of flour and butter, make it a roux. 
Make sure it's completely mixed in. Once it's done that, then you're going to add your milk. And right before your eyes, it's going to begin to thicken. Remember, it has to come up to a simmer. Your sauce must come up to a simmer for the roux to work. You can add your cayenne. Keep stirring. Add your salt and pepper. And as you can see, it's starting to thicken. So lower the temp. Don't let it scorch. It's already thickened up. Then you're going to add your cheese. And slowly add it in. Let it melt. Don't add it all in at once. Looks like this. This should be a kind of a thick cheese. Because you're going to have a nice little dipping sauce. Just like that. It's very important you cook out the starch in that flour. And that's your cheese sauce. And again, make sure you cook it through. You're going to do this on day one as well. Okay, so day one you'll make your cheese sauce and then we'll uh, set it and then reheat it. Okay, this is what it looks like after it proofs. Okay, then you're going to remove it. Just like that. And then you're going to cut it into four or five equal portions, depending on how many are in your group. So if you want to eyeball it, you can eyeball it. Just like this. So again, start from the center. Work your way out. Just like that. Start from the center. Try to keep them as even as possible. <clears throat> it on top and there you go and the next step is you're going to have some water with the uh, baking soda you're going to get your pretzel place them in and poach them okay roughly for about a minute and do as much as you can in there just like that if you need to put a little more water on top just to get it nicely poached. This is just going to give it that nice brown color with the baking soda in there. And then go ahead and place it in your pan. Just like that. Then you're going to hit it with your salt and then you'll hit it with a little uh, egg wash and then just a small sprinkle of salt on the top. And then you're going to go into the oven. and into the oven and we'll show you what they look like when they're done. 
Okay, this is what they look like when they come out. And here you go, soft pretzel with cheddar cheese sauce.